Hey guys, I want to do a quick review today on the Pepin Fast Series Dumbbells. Um, I want to make it quick because it feels like everyone and their brother has done a review on them. I just want to put in my two cents. Um, I, again, kind of uh, reverbing off what everyone else says, I do really enjoy them. I sold all my um, fixed dumbbells. I had the American Barbell Dumbbells previously, and I sold them for these. Um, I like a lot of features about them. I like... I respect what uh, Pepin, the company, does. I like what they do with the new Havoc Triad. I thought that was really cool. I'm excited to see their adjustable kettlebell. I will be picking that up. I wanted to point out a couple of things that I didn't love. Oh, like the logo that they can put in there is really nice. Um, some of the things I don't like is, especially at heavier weights, um, and, it, and it, this could be user error, but it is like I'm going to set it to like a, this one's set for um, you know, 80. So let's just um, get that locked in. Um, there it is. Yeah, it's sometimes hard for me to um, tell exactly where I'm hitting. So I have often also like kind of done like 70 on one side, 80 on the other. Again, could be user error. But when I take it out and then when I go to put it back in, I don't have like the – and again, this could be a user error thing. I don't think the slots line up as easy as it's been advertised. But um, – uh, again, pretty minor complaints. Um, I've just not seen a whole lot of negatives on them. I wanted to bring up some of the ways that they can be annoying. Um, they're, again, super difficult to move around if you want to, but again, that's just the nature of them being you know, 120 pounds at their heaviest. Uh, the assembly for them was um, very minor, which is for the base plate. Just bolting those in. It was pretty easy. But um, I have not, I mean, the adjustments have not always been super smooth uh, for me, doing them very quickly. Um, I've had some issues like lining things up correctly and stuff like that. Again, some of that could be user error. Um, but again, their feel is really good. Um, they feel better than a lot of adjustable dumbbells, um, like the Snodes. I've tried the Snodes. Didn't care for those. I had power blocks years ago. You know, These are, of course, far and away better than those. But the other thing that I don't love is I understand the purpose behind the bar. It works well, like, you know, I, you know, the intention, of course, is, you know, you adjust by, excuse me, on this side, sliding to get the higher weights or lower weights. I get it. It's revolutionary and cool. It still restricts the movements. Um, not really for bicep curls, necessarily, um, or hammer, uh, hammer curls or, or pressing, but for some, like, behind-the-head tricep work and stuff. So, again, uh, for this set, it was, like, $2,600 or just shy of $2,600, maybe twenty five eighty. Um, shit to my door. Um, it's just kind of expensive. I kind of wish he had a better way of doing things than those bars as they do inhibit some movements. Not pressing, not curling, more, more tricep stuff behind the head, especially at heavier weights. I just would not even try. I would just be afraid that something, something could go wrong. Uh, I've dropped them a couple of times purposefully, and um, everything went well. Uh, no real issues with that. But um, I, 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 I'm not a huge fan of the bar. I, I wonder if in future he will figure something out, Pep, and if he'll do like a twist thing, sort of like uh, the Snodes or something like that. But um, again, they are largely very good. I'm kind of reverberating what a lot of other people have already said. Um, I just wanted to call out some cons that I didn't just love, love, love um, about them. And again, it was mostly uh, the bars. It's sometimes hard to tell the adjustments because it's all done that electrolytic nickel, so you kind of have to really, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can even see it's, it's just kind of hard to make out the numbers sometimes. So I'll sometimes misclick in. The numbers I'll be like one off um, again, which doesn't really affect too much. But again, it's just annoying. I, I wanted to just call it some uh, some cons I found that I didn't see uh, brought up a lot. But uh, thanks, guys.